Hello and welcome back to Tyranny. Do you need him to speak with me? No. Great. We can just go back. Three day journey. The other way. To the old walls. I have no idea how I missed how I missed that earlier. No matter. That wasn't so hard. Archon Efna, allow me to address you by such a title before it becomes fashionable to do. I pride myself as a woman who stays ahead of the trends. Why Kairos might some but allow others to exist is a question we all ponder. The Overlord can certainly appear arbitrary and if we, I've learned anything, that's the point. Kairos is intentionally aloof and distant, both for matters of personal security and because if you had to wrangle the most powerful entities of Teratus, you would need to keep them from getting too comfortable. To me, the most obvious answer is that Kairos knows exactly what you are doing. She probably approves of your actions and is likely working at very opportunity to create a situation wherein you are acting in your own self-interest while satisfying her ambitions as well. You have to consider one important detail. There is nowhere left in Taratus to conquer, now that the tears are in the Overlord's grasp. What would the great generals even do in a time of peace? The voices of Nerat is barely tolerable when you have need of a spy master. Why keep around such a monster when you no longer have the need of such a gruesome weapon? I would argue it is in Kairos' interest that the tears be a constantly invasion, that costly invasion that claims the lives of as many as the Archons are as possible. Not enough meat on the tears to keep too many sharks sated for very long. Kairos ordered everyone to take Ascension Hall or die. The or die must have been an acceptable option, correct? If I had a hazard, I guess, I would say you have the unspoken backing of the Overlord. It's, like, it's not like Blade and Mark can find you wherever you, he wants. Dear my office, your wisdom on the matter is greatly appreciated. You have mention of Blade and Mark and his killings. During my training, Fatebinder Kalio hinted that much of Blade and Mark's work involves killing of threads before they blossom into genuine problems. So, it's curious to hear you second that fact. So, let's say for the sake of argument, I am some Archon. Is it just a matter of time until the Blade and Mark is sent to kill me? Should I be making grand displays of loyalty to the court to assure his suspicions? Efna. At attention! A band of unbroken wars rouse into position as the leader stands alert to your presence. The stalwart captain whist whistles and shri a shrill note as you approach, and his comrades lurch to attention. He turns to regard you with open dis distaste. Tuck your tail and scamper back the way you came. The unbroken won't tolerate northern scum getting in our way. I am trying to end the Edict of Storms. We have similar goals. Is that right? Well, unless your goals also involve putting Kairos' minions to their sword and setting fire to the Northern Empire, then we're not similar enough. He draws his weapon. Attack positions! Send your guard! Ground! Up, Captain. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well. I really like that that skill. It's awesome. Uh, wait, can we? And if it's such a way that it hits. Yeah. Uh, you don't have anything. Not anymore. I'm on. Okay. Yeah, you cannot. Wait, five. Get rid of him. That's a negative. Work. Wait, what? Why? Just shoot him. 
Oh, there I am. Uh, I mistook myself. Her phantom bolt. She has so much AoE. That was loud. <laughs> Heal the girl. Let's have it then. I cannot hurt my own guys with that. That's amazing. No. Yes. She really didn't do that. Oh, amazing. Am I next? The sage points his quill at the unbroken corpses, biting his lip as he finishes the final scribblings of a note. I was not trying to eavesdrop on your scuffle, but now I've witnessed it. Duty obliges that I record it. He rolls a sheet of parchment into a thick tube in his hands. Come and silence the record if you must, but I warn you the sages have long written memories. No actually the name is Efna be sure to include that detail several times the long feathered plum of his quill dances to the tune of the sage's fierce crow oh yes yes you can be sure that I will account for as much as I can get down but do make note that I did not start the fight I merely ended it his face reddens with a smile as he fiercely amends his parchment Noted! And how may this humble servant of letters be of assistance? He runs his fingers through his hair, wrestling his quill behind his ear. I understand that we both seek items within yonder old walls. What are sages doing here with the unbroken? Let us say we are sympathetic to each other's causes. <clears throat> it also helps that we are both interested in the arcana of yesteryear. The Regent artifacts are supposed to be fascinating specimens, and no sage would, in good conscience, refuse opportunity for study. Hmm. I'm looking for the steadfast insignia. Tell me what you know. Artifacts are a fascinating business, are they not? And Star Wars decorated military history yielded so much intrigue around them. The steadfast insignia was prominently displayed in every unbroken battle where Regent Aspison fought. Over the years it became something of a rallying marker, and its presence alone accounted for many notable victories. Hieronymus shakes his head with a sign, gesturing toward the massive stone horizon of the old walls. It lies within... but no good discovery is within without its pitfalls. He points toward a white bridge in a nearby section of the ancient stone facade. The unbroken and I were attempting to recover a few relics of interest from the old walls, but a swarm of scourges put a halt to that plan. We recovered a torch key during our ill-fated first attempt to bridge the old walls. I have seen fashion stones like it before, but what we don't know about them would fill a library. Hermes points with a shaky finger. Unfortunately, when we were attacked, we got separated from Gregor's men, and one of the soldiers still has the torch key. His corpse does, to be exact. What does the torch key do? It appears to be part of a lock and key system within the old walls. If only we could replicate such crafts on a grand, uh, uh, on as grand a scale as the builders of this place. He shakes himself from revere. In 
in any event, you'll need the torch key if you want to scour the ruins below. Where is the soldier's body? Just south is on of the bridge. Take care, those beasts may still be on the hunt. What are the next steps? Once you get the torch key, you'll be able to venture past the first chamber. He pauses for a moment. Of course, given our aborted efforts, you can understand why I'd be hesitant to re-enter the old walls. My scribe, Javala, didn't survive the trip. The poor girl. I'll answer any questions you have, though you, you're up to tell me more of interest than the other way around, I'm sure. What are you seeking in the old walls? My research suggests that within these nearby old walls are a set of stones carved with ancient script. For lack of a better term, I call them stones of eluclidation. His hands darts to his saddle, producing a hand-drawn sketch of an ordinary circle. I know the sketch doesn't capture the wonder, and frankly, we don't really know what they do. We have found spheres of identical size but different glyphs in over a dozen dis disparate regions of the old walls. As we find more of these stones, we can compare commonalities in sigils. With a large enough collection to study, we hope to create the language of the old walls. Who can guess what we might learn then? Hermes blushes. It's been a slow process. Constructing dead languages without leaving witnesses is singularly frustrating. It is a tall request, but I doubt two non Alex fools for, for fate binders. I could use someone with your metal to brave the old walls. Mm -hmm. What's in it for me? For you? Uh, he looks askance, his chin resting in inkstained hand. I want a copy of one of your arcane texts. Such a steep request! His eyes widen with surprise before a smile creeps over his face. But you certainly have refined tastes. And it would be an honor to have a fate by the annotated manuscript of mine. Hmm. He scratches his chin for a long moment before slowly nodding. Help me, and I'll pay you in the future with something bound just for you. I'll consider your request. The sage bows with a nod. That is all I can accept. Expect. What of the steadfast insignia? It's just a simple trinket to the untrained eye, but every first regent since before the Unbroken earned that name wore the badge into battle. Stalwart folk are ever famous for standing their ground, and the steadfast insignia embodies their immovable nature. The wearer can resist any charge, push or shove. He smiles beneath the ground, where heavy footprints are visible under the layers of rust and sand. The layers of rust let you judge the age of footprints here in the blade grave. And these tracks heading into the old walls date back to the opening days of Kairos' storm. What else can you read in the rust pattern? Spark looks himself over self consciously. My working hypothesis is that the only person with her feet on the ground during the peak of the storm would be the bearer of the steadfast insignia. Hieronymus aims his finger along the footprints in rust until he points at the old walls. But I suppose we won't know for certain until we look. What can you tell me of the old walls? Hieronymus' eyes widen. I could speak volumes, um, honorable fate binder, but I will summarize. The old walls predated settlement of the tears. The passageways crisscrossed the landscape, but most good folk steer clear. Carus' laws forbid entry, which hasn't always been a problem for us, but even we saw the good sense to stay out. Explorers who found old artwork, funeral remains, and other relics of a civilization predating our own. Hieronymus sweats out a long sigh before, as he looks at the towering wall behind him. But most find a quick death in the old walls, as the current inhabitants are inhuman predators, creatures of working power that appear to travel on the mists. What should I expect inside? The wars? <laughs> he looks at you with a puzzled smile, his mouth moving in several half starts. The old walls are filled with arcane beasts that, like, that attack erratically and with little warning. Sorry about that. 
My colleagues can only speculate on what they are or what possible sustenance, if any, they find in the old walls. That said, if you see one, it would be unwise to approach it and ask clarifying questions. Can you deliver a message for me? Not currently. His arm instinctively lifts up, his gloved hand raised slightly above his ear, arm crooked to create a landing surface for a bird. He looks skyward, blinking as he searches the clouds for several long moments. My thunder dove is carrying another missive at the moment. When she's returned, there may be room on her window for an auto too. That's all. Farewell. So south east South something. Tines of Petruk dot the landscape, providing little shelter from the constant winds. Mm. Have a look here. What is that? Bane touched stuff. Heads up, we have company. There's even more of them. They are not so tough. That's a lot of attacks. There's even more of them. You walk away. Barrick can take such hitting, but not you. Wait, Barrick? Sorry, I can't. Of course. Give me a moment. Go for those. Send me your. Okay, now let's start with the best skill we have. And second best skill we have. We'll do. And I forgot to give her the other stuff. Okay. Not a problem. I got it. I feel a bit lightheaded. Yeah, good job getting hit again. Hmm. You are finished. Yeah, it's definitely in there. Heads up. Yep, there's more of them. And you use this. We have company. I swear I don't remember to give her the the new stuff. I'm not doing that on purpose. Whatever you need. Take that. Will do. Were the scourges drawn to the outside well air? Corpses? Or those stone ornaments? All three?
Hmm. Let's see, what do we have here? I really like those enemies, they leave valuable people behind. And Bark is doing a really good job fighting with them. Okay, you can be quiet now. It is unclear if this Bane snare was destroyed by the Unbroken trying to get in, or the Bane attempting to escape. The crystal in the beacon shimmers softly as you bring the torch key closer to it. Darn. See that? On the wall? That glowing symbol must have some use. What if I take it? No, I can't take it back. Okay, but before we venture further in, I'll end this part. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.